after some dramatic up and downs, today we have another down day on Tesla. Since this is a very important phase for the stock now launched into the age of abundance and sustainable abundance as the company's new mantra fully approved by the shareholders now also with a compensation package. We want to take a close look and keep a close eye on the stock as it evolves in Q4 to the end of the year. So it's worth taking a look today. Why is it down so much? 2.13%. If we check the markets, we see they're not down that much. Nasdaq is down 0.57%. So Tesla should be down 1% is down twice as much. What is happening? Should we be scared? Let's take a quick look and then do some big picture dot connection so we know what to do next. If you look into the news, pretty obvious. There are some pretty bad news for Tesla on the EV sales side of things. Now that normally should have led to a bigger drop. And I will get into that in a second why I think today is a good day for doubling down, which is what I did. Tesla sales plunged 23% globally. That just came out today, November 12th. Um, and we saw that they are 23% down globally. They're down to 45,000 cars sold in the United States versus nearly 60,000 last month. Of course, we knew that this is going to happen in the US, that there's a cliff coming, that buyers pulled forward their demand to buy electric vehicles at large, but specifically Tesla is the number one brand in EVs in the United States because of the expiration of the tax credit. So not too surprising, but still now the reality is in and we know what's going on. So first month of October in Q4, after the expiration of the $7,500 tax credit led to 15,000 cars left, uh, fewer cars sold, 25% down in the United States. Not too surprising. But what we also see is China took a hit. I don't know why actually, but that is, of course, bad. So what we saw here in October, 61,000 sold versus 68,000 last year. So it's down roughly 8% year over year. Not great news. And that just contributes to the bleak picture today. Uh, now, is that reason to panic? We all knew that Q4 is going to be worse. Everyone knows it. So this is more like a reality check. Okay, fine. It's bad. After that record month, uh, record quarter, last quarter, but we also see all the strength of Tesla remains as expected. So this is a chart here where you see search demand in China for different cars. Tesla remains clearly the number one with the Model Y, the most searched vehicle, electric vehicle in China. Uh, and uh, the Model 3 still strong here at number whatever that is, number seven. So the biggest car in China and the number seven in China is Tesla. We also know the Model Y L, the long version of the Model Y is still sold out in China with long wait times. Nothing changed on that front. But most importantly, we have to see the big picture. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. First of all, these numbers are not great. 23% down globally, not great. The fact that the shares are only down a little bit now up again to 430, you know, 2.16% when the market alone is down 0.55. So basically Tesla just 1% down more than its beta would suggest means, well, the market is taking this pretty nicely. And the reason for that is that we are in this incredibly bullish, double bullish phase. Tesla entering this new age, everyone getting excited. We know that FSD, one news after the other showing that FSD 14 now really starts breaking records in safety, in interventions that are going down dramatically now. We see that Tesla is gearing up on all fronts and we will go into that in a second here on the news on X on FSD. And we also see that Tesla is pushing forward on all AI related issues. And that is what investors are focusing on right now. That's what I'm focusing on. So that little hiccup on the car delivery side that was half expected or more than half doesn't move the share shares too much. And in fact, just gives us some information that we already knew was coming. I think that is a very good price to double down a little bit. I will get into my channel right now, the top end and the low end of the current channel that I am using for myself looking at Tesla shares. But before we go to the stock price, 
Let's take a look here what the latest is. Of course, the usual hype that Elon is now totally hyped up. Here we see Herbert and CERN uh, talking about, you know, uh, Elon actually dropping some major hints. He said anyone can buy Tesla stock now and come along for the ride, you know, and he mentioned that his companies are trending towards convergence. And he meant with that XAI, one of the most important AI companies in the world, Grok, by the way, improving massively over the last week. Check it out. They have some very cool new features. You can upload documents and all kinds of stuff, not just upload managed documents, uh, but it's also getting smarter and smarter. It has a legal advisor now. So that's happening. We also see that FSD is coming to uh, Korea. So FSD, full self-driving, is now expanding to Korea, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, we also see this year, the uh, hiring now, Tesla is starting to hire vehicle operators in Prüm, in Germany, in, uh, where is this, Rhineland, Pfalz, Palatinate, whatever this means. Um, so that is a little state in Western Germany. And now they are hiring vehicle operators, which means they are now also operating full self-driving cars, at least on a test basis in Germany, which means Europe might come next. So we see this push globally and within all the different states in the United States to expand full self-driving while version 14 is improving by the days. We also see that Vanguard, for example, and some other institutional funds have now updated their filings. And we see that Vanguard added 1 million Tesla shares to their holdings. And we also saw some other funds doing similar things. So overall, the sentiment is pretty bullish for Q4, in my opinion, coincides with the markets also getting a little relief now with the government shutdown ending, uh, apparently. I don't know what the latest is today, but it seems to be ending pretty clearly. So now we have green lights on all fronts. We have seen a nice little micro correction. I wouldn't even call it a correction, but the markets you see here, I mean, it's already nearly over, but Nasdaq is down from 23,958 to 23,300. So it's down, what, 600? Not a lot, but, you know, 5% or something. Did I get this right? Percent? No, it's not 5%. It's less. 2%, 2.5% or something. So we see this little trend happening, but I think... You know, I think this trend will probably continue in Q4. Let's see what Q1. But for the rest of the year, sentiment is a little bit bullish on the market. It's definitely a lot bullish on Tesla. And I maintain my channel. Let's talk about the channel quickly and what I'm thinking here. So since uh, September 16th, maybe September 15th, but 16th is the end of this big run up at 425, fell back to 416. We are in this channel between 410 and 470. I said 460, but technically 470, it was at 468. I think this channel is pretty robust. I think Tesla will stay in this channel. I think Tesla will move with the market. So if the market moves up 5%, Tesla will move up 10% from here, which is 470, which is still technically nearly in the channel. So I like this channel. It has served me pretty well over the last few weeks. I'm selling calls up here. I'm selling puts down here. And in the middle, I'm trying to sell puts, for example, at the 410 level. Uh, I have some calls even sold at 465 this week. So I believe in the channel. I do not believe there are major catalysts in either direction coming up. And as we see, the sentiment is bullish. So even if we have bad catalysts coming up like today, it doesn't do much to the stock. I mean, a 2% drop in response for a 23% sales drop globally in October, not too bad. It means the market is bullish. The market likes Tesla as a stock. Otherwise, they would have dropped this thing 10% or 5% at least. 2% is kind of a joke, especially with the market down. So it gives us some confidence that the channel is probably intact. Uh, I rely on that bottom. Don't go crazy. Don't just do what I do. But I rely on this. I rely on the 410 side of things. I also rely on the upper end because I do not see how we have major catalysts coming for, for Tesla. I don't know exactly what could possibly happen in November and even the first half of December that would drive the stock up other than general bullish sentiment, which is good because that gives us a certain certainty that not too many crazy things probably are going to happen, which is great for selling options on both sides of the equation. Obviously, you never know. Obviously, I'm keeping my big fat core position of Tesla, my number one 
choice for stocks. I think there is no other stock right now with a better performance and risk return outlook in the market. At least, of course, I'm sure there is one, but I don't know of it. So this is the one that I understand the best. Another stock that recently became very interesting to me, but I will have a separate video on that, which is not Tesla, it's Meta. I think on Meta, everything changed very recently, yesterday. I will cover this in a different video, why Meta creeps up now to probably the number, it definitely a top three. I don't know if it's number three or number two on my list after Tesla, but Meta is becoming very, very interesting, very risk mitigated, not much downside, super low valuation, and they just made an enormous announcement that will change, very strategically change, Meta's stance and capabilities in something called AI, which is very important. So I will cover this probably tomorrow, on Friday, special coverage of Meta. In the meantime, Tesla, beautiful cash machine, we can always sell a little bit, puts and calls, rely on the channel being intact. Today, another day confirming that Tesla is not in the mood to drop too much despite bad news, but also not to run up like crazy in my opinion. So that's the state of things. I hope that was helpful and I see you very soon.